Okay guys, today we're going to be doing dividing polynomials. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to write this as a long division. So it's going to be 14x cubed minus 6x squared plus 2x divided by 2x. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to see how many times does 2x go into 14x cubed. So 2x times a 7x squared is going to give me a 14x cubed. So I'm going to write 7x squared times 2x, that's a 14x cubed. I subtract, and so this becomes a 0, and I bring down my remainder, which is a negative 6x squared. So now it's the same thing. How many times does 2x go into negative 6x squared? And that's a negative 3x. So I multiply them again. That gives me a negative 6x squared. And since I'm going to be subtracting, that's going to become a minus a minus. So negative 6x squared minus a negative 6x squared is going to become a plus. So that cancels and we're left with 0 and I bring down a 2x, so a positive 2x. So now 2x goes into 2x one time, so I put a plus 1 and I multiply 1 by 2x and so that would be my answer, 7x squared minus 3x plus 1. Now in example 2 we're also going to be dividing, so I'm going to go ahead and write it by uh, x minus 4. So if you notice, the other one was a polynomial, this one's not. 5x cubed minus 7x squared plus 6 divided by an x minus 4. So I'm going to look at just the first one. x goes into 5x cubed, uh, 5x times, sorry, x squared times. So that'd be 5x squared. I'm going to multiply just, well, actually by both of them. So 5x squared times x minus 4, that's going to give me a 5x cubed, and a 5x squared minus, times a negative 4, that's going to give me a negative 20x squared. And then I'm going to be subtracting, so it's going to subtract, and that's going to become a, a positive, because it's a minus a negative. So 5x cubed minus a 5x cubed cancels, a negative x squared plus 20x squared is going to give me a negative, no, pos positive, 19x squared, and I bring down the 6. So then I'm going to go ahead and see how many times does x go into my 19x squared. So like just as before. So that's going to give me a positive 19x. So 19x times x is a 19x squared. A 19x times a negative 4 is going to give me Uh, 19x times a negative 4 is going to give me a negative 76. So then again, it's subtraction. So that uh, becomes an addition, and that cancels. 6 plus a 76 gives me uh, 82. And because x cannot multiply by anything to give me 82, I'm going to write... No, they don't go in, so I'm going to write a remainder. It's going to be... 5x, sorry, 5x squared plus 19x, and then we're going to have a remainder, plus 82 to still being divided by x minus 4. And we're going to do one more example. Okay, so in this one we're going to be dividing 4x cubed, I mean to the fourth, plus 3x to the cubed, plus 2x plus 1, divided by x squared plus x plus 2. So x squared times what gives you 4x to the fourth? That's going to be a 4x squared. So I multiply 4x squared times x squared. That gives you 4x to the fourth. And then I multiply everything else. So 4x squared times x gives me a positive 4x cubed. And then 4x squared times a 2 gives you a positive 8x squared. Now I since this is going to be subtraction, that's going to change the sign of all of them. So that's going to become canceled. That's going to give you a negative x, 1x cubed. And a 2 minus an 8, actually you can't subtract those because that, that would have a 1. So that's, I'm going to bring down everything. A negative 8x squared and a 2x squared. I mean just a 2x plus 2x. And I'm going to see how many times does x squared go into that first one. So x squared goes times by a, no, sorry, negative, a negative x, 
multiply to give me a negative x cubed. So that's negative x cubed. Negative x times x gives you negative x squared. And a negative x times 2 gives you a negative 2x. So again, subtracting so that changes the sign. These cancel. Negative 8x plus x squared is a negative 7x squared. 2x and a 2x is a positive 4x. And I bring down my, my extra, which is my 1. So now I'm going to see how many times x squared times give you negative 7. So that's going to be times negative 7. So negative 7 times x squared is a negative 7x squared. Then negative 7 times x is a negative 7x. And a negative 7 times a 2 is a negative 14. So again, subtracting, so that's going to change it to, to adding. And then that's also, yeah, that was a negative. So that's going to be also an addition, and that one's also addition. So that cancels. This is going to give you 11x, and then 1 and 14 will give you 15. Now, x squared times nothing can give you a less than 11x. So we're actually going to be left with a remainder here. So this is going to be a 4x squared minus x minus 7 with a remainder of 11x plus 15 still being divided by oops that should have been a plus sorry to fix that to 11x plus 15 on yours